this is uh this is something different something new uh kind of like in an old-fashioned fto just talking about the mcu when i used to be in my car talking about uh <laughs> my dislike my dislike of the mcu like how they're messing up and like this whole conversation started out with um me doing a, a voice note on twitter talking about how disney should get one of their studios like 20th century fox or touchstone and create themselves a marvel knight uh branch and you want to talk to me about like how like they can't do blade without blood and gore and like, like, they can't do blade they make it a pt-13 like yeah the batman with pg 13 like and did that pretty incredibly well but this is like the mcu you were talking about so unless the mcu is like doing like a drastic change with their entire formula like it's hard for us to see how they're going to pull off a blade movie like this but like we're going to talk about a lot of different stuff mcu wise so like you you really want to have this conversation I really want to have this conversation, but I'm gonna let you like you start this out. What do you what do you want to talk about, uh, your nerd? Okay, let's start with here. Okay, let's let's get out let's get out these little added notes. MCU, you know, did a great job in making a whole big connected universe that was dope that led up to Infinity War. We're not mm-hmm. gonna talk about Endgame because that was trash. <laughs> so it led up to Infinity War. So like. <laughs> They did this whole great cinematic universe, right? That was great. We, I give them props to that. Full of movies that connected, brought. They did a great job. With not easy movies. to do, huh? Not easy to do. It's, it's, like, it's very difficult. Do. Yeah. Not easy to do, and also get the population on with it. Mm-hmm. Now you do, and you did it with a lot of C list superheroes. Agree. You talk about, you know, people talk about Avengers, but yo, nobody really. Then you people is not reading Thor and Iron Man comics for a Let's be real with each other. Like, let's they're not. Honest. Let's be honest. Like, no, like, there's so many. They're, they're not. Like, like, it's, it's an X Men. X Men, Spider Man, so, like, kept Marvel going. Let's be real about that. Yeah. Let's be real. Let's be real. So, they did a good job with these lesser known characters. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty. They started out great, they had a formula. Mm-hmm. And they ain't never changed from said formula. They even doubled down on making a formula even more Disney than it has to be. Like, bro, I'm sorry. I do, like, I understand that, you know, make movies for kids, make them lighthearted, which I feel like you can do, but you don't have to add jokes in every five seconds. Like, you do not need, like, you do not, I do not need a joke from every single character. I do not need every character to be talking to me like they Spider-Man. Like, I do not ever need everybody to be an extension of Robert Downey Jr. Like, it's, it's like, you have, Marvel has some very dope characters, a lot of dope mm-hmm. characters. Because, I mean, people sometimes call me a Marvel hater. No, I'm an MCU hater. Yeah. I like Marvel characters, just the MCU just norfs their characters so much. I don't even want to talk about how their most powerful character is Captain Marvel and then Hulk and Thor have just been north for movie after movie after movie after movie. Like I, if I'm if I'm correct, you don't really like Ragnarok, right? Ragnarok is one of the worst superhero movies yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Like, bro, like if we're talking about superhero movies that take themselves seriously, right? Two superheroes that take themselves seriously, and this supposedly was supposed to take itself seriously. How do you make this is the problem? This is my problem with Marvel. This is the problem with, with uh Disney. You make Thor Ragnarok. We all know as comic book fans, Thor Ragnarok is about the end of Asgard. The end of Asgard. Why and then you took Planet Hulk, you took Planet Hulk and put it into that movie. Why is this movie a comedy? Hey, hey, is it though? It, it's it's supposed to be. It wasn't funny. I mean, it wasn't funny. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a that's a line the whole damn movie. It's like him, like Thor doing like like that's completely out of character. Saying Bro, that to like, Bruce Banner, is it though? Like, dude, him dude. from start to finish, from start to finish, Thor was just a bumbling idiot. Just making jokes left and right. He was the equivalent of Jar Jar Binks <sighs> in Phantom Menace in his no. own movie. That's what I don't get. Why did you like, like, and then you took, then like, they had, it was Hulk versus Thor on Planet Hulk, and it wasn't even epic. It was a boring fight. It was jokes throughout the fight. Like, no way, bruh, this is Planet Hulk. This is Planet Hulk. Like, bruh, you didn't even need to do that. You didn't even have to put Planet Hulk in there at all. Do not, do not get me wrong though like i do like seeing loki i do like seeing valkyrie it was cool seeing those characters in this movie but like you know 
uh, Loki and Valkyrie does not does a Thor movie not make. So yeah, no, I. I'm <sighs> just saying, and I just think that they they get such. I think the Marvel MCU got such a pass from critics, and then like all of that. that. The point where that. they never tried to change anything. They never tried to do anything different. The critics still give them high scores no matter. You know why? You know the reason why that is, right? Because they pay them? Because they got death threats from MCU fans. This is no joke. MCU fans suck. They also get a pass. They're They're toxic. They face their ass. They're like Xbox users. They're like Xbox 360 users. They're all toxic. All of them. (laughs) (laughs) I went there. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like they, they don't read no comics at nope. all. Like like that that also was the thing. That also was the one. We thing were talking I, about that like off air. Like that uh that they're not really following the source material, which is not not a hundred percent a bad thing. But like it's like they never follow the source material. They they don't like it's anytime like anytime this like people be like you know what's a comic that I can get into before like this Marvel movie and I tell them like. There's no point. Like you can read the comic, but they're not. They will take small elements, but it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the comic. No which way. Like Civil War. Like no, I don't people, even, give, I'll be me, like, don't no. even give me started. I'll be like, me. don't read Civil War. Do not uh, read Civil it'll War. Piss, it will piss you off. It really. It will. will. It will. It will. It will. I'll be like, bro, what they did with the movie, and then when you read what with the acts happening in the comic, like you're gonna be like. Why don't they just kind of go with the comic book route? But because like this, this made Bendis like you know like a household name, like Civil War. Civil War made Bendis a household name, and like they they butchered that story in this film, like period. Yeah, like I hate like people always trip on me. They're like, you don't like Civil War? I'm like, no, no. bro. Like there's so much in that movie that was just dumb. Like this villain, I'm like Baron Zemo. His whole plan doesn't work if a whole bunch of convenient things don't happen like a whole bunch of them. i just had this conversation on twitter i know you saw like i just had the conversation on twitter right and then like the ones the one part that always gets me is like bro at the end of the scene at the end of the movie if falcon does not tell him where to go none of that last scene happens the iron man and ted america fighting doesn't happen like literally oh no not 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 telling bear zemo if he doesn't tell iron man he doesn't tell iron man where captain america is going yep none of that last scene happens Dude, if if none captain of- america had just called iron man or like or at least like you know general ross about like hey i have bucky send me a helicarrier or a quinjet come pick us up take us back to America, we can lock Bucky up and talk about what's going on with him. The movie would have been over after that. That would have been it. Conversation. Somebody had described to me, I, I told somebody, I was like, I really hate Civil War II. It was stupid. The comic Civil War II. I, I refuse he, to read it. So you, don't do it. I it's refuse dumb. to read it. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody explained to me, that it was like, it's because like the thing could have just been ended with a conversation. And I'm like, facts and that's how i feel about the civil war movie like and then when they, it didn't like you got them all fighting and stuff none mm-hmm. of that was really seemed good like only part that i really like was the spider-man part everything else just kind of it was one big plot device for that to be be honest with you that's what that was it was one big plot device to put spider-man in that movie period which that and black panther which didn't make sense either because think about it, you you're tony hawk i mean tony stark and you're all on this <laughs> on this accords and you all for this accords, right? Yep. And keeping held accountable. You went to go find a teenage superhero that's only been a superhero for about six Dude. months to go fight who you think is a terrorist. Are you are you serious? With with a person named Black Panther who's who is literally bloodthirsty to kill said assassin. Like, are you serious? Why would you do that? That doesn't make Why any sense make whatsoever. Sense. Like it was, I, I I was like, bruh, like they really forced Spider Man into this. That's like, it. Like they just forced it. Like they were, they didn't make sense whatsoever. And it's like, like I, and people was like, but you know, all the characters. I'm like, yeah, I like the fact that all these characters. Of were course, it's cool to see that. Yeah, it is cool, but that shit didn't make sense. Not one part of it. And it's just like, that's the thing that I'm saying is like, I think critics gave give the MCU such a pass for shit like that. Like, yeah. bro, like DC, DC's movies never got a chance to actually do anything. Critics were on it from jump. But also, which I think DC has a fault because a lot more people feel like they know DC characters. 
like like people because you know nobody shows really, or cartoon shows art cartoons yeah. yeah even if they didn't read the comics which a lot of the motherfuckers didn't because if they did they wouldn't complain <laughs> they, about things they wouldn't, they wouldn't talk like they do yeah but but yeah but it's like with dc characters like batman superman these characters are more known than any other marvel characters so like they can literally do whatever. Like, remember we talked about James Gunn and how I thought mm-hmm. he takes characters that he can just do whatever because nobody's going to say nothing because yep. they don't know about these characters. That's what Snyder tried to do. Like, vigilante. So, I think that Marvel, they get a pass because nobody really knows, like, that these characters they could be know, so much they better know, than they, they are. They Captain America. They don't know Hawkeye. They don't know Black Widow. They don't know, like, uh, Vision. They don't know Scarlet Witch. They don't know any of those characters. They don't really know Thor. They just like, you know, how about we just have Thor be a funny guy and stop talking in Asgardian? How about we make Black Widow, uh, she kills people, but she really has a heart of gold. Mm, how about we make Hawkeye a family Black man? Widow. What's that? We're not going to talk about Black they, Widow. They, they ruined her character. Like in the comic books, she is vicious. Like she but is like the, one of the most badass characters in the Marvel universe, and they, and they, they had a chance her. to do that early and mm-hmm. never did it. Nope. They they like they could have took the mystique that she had from Iron Man two and easily did something with and her. Made a movie but right after that. Yep. Everybody got movies except for her. We mm-hmm. in this whole era of you know women empowerment, but yep. nobody talked about Marvel not making a movie till after Wonder Woman did good. We had a Catwoman. We had an Elektra. We had uh, the Supergirl TV show. We had like all those things, like women wise, like they did not want to get Black Widow a movie. That was a, a stupid move on their part. Facts. It really was. Facts like that. And they had all the things. And then, <clears> here's <throat> the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. They could have, that was also a chance to deviate from y'all's whole formula. You could have made a nice spy movie with Black Widow, like actually her being, you know, Black Widow, a nice spy joint that's different than all. It could literally be standalone. It did not have to even connect with anything. You could have made it connect. Of course, that's what y'all do, but it could have been a spy movie. But it could have been like like the spy movie, like before we got Civil War, I'm like, before Winter Soldier. Because, like, Winter Soldier is essentially, like, a spy espionage film. And, like, they could have did that very same thing with Black Widow. Like, the very right? same thing. Right? Yep. Right? I agree with you completely. Like, that is tough. Like, the MCU, I think they just try to, well, Disney is trying to be so, like, kid-friendly and stuff that they're just mm-hmm. taken away from everything. And it's just, like, these are not even good stories. These are not good movies. They're the same thing. And I feel like... like- that's that's the vibe we're gonna have with, with the blade film. Like it's gonna be it's gonna be that. I don't think they're gonna push the envelope with this blade movie. I don't think they're gonna have the edge with this blade movie. Like I see Morbius at Sony, but that's Sony. Like it's not MCU. Like uh, it's a vampire flick, and it's about like an origin story of a vampire, like who human become vampire, become, become like a vampire god, and like I don't see like that kind of vibe like we saw with Venom, or we're probably gonna see with Morbius with the MCU at all. At all. I mean, we haven't got no, we haven't got uh, evidence that anything could be outside of what we normally see with the MCU, except for maybe Infinity War and Winter Soldier, tell you the truth. Maybe, like, maybe, like maybe, like Infinity War, like possibly maybe Infinity War. I wouldn't say like 100%, but possibly maybe Infinity yeah, War. Yeah. So, also, let me ask you a question. Yeah. This may be a loaded question. Do you think the MCU kind of has ruined like superhero movies? Say, say, say one more time. Do you think the MCU has ruined like superhero movies and how people see how they should be done? Fuck, that is you are hundred percent right. That is a that is a loaded question. Uh, I'm not. Uh, fuck, I don't want any scrutiny for this. But that yes. <laughs> Yes, I do. Like, uh, and uh, can I can I tell you why I think that? Yes, I want to know. I want to hear your question. Hear your answer. Like, fucking shit. Like, <laughs> dude. Like, like seriously. I have, I have thought this for a very long time. We have movies like you know, uh, TV shows and movies like The Flash, Mantis. We've had like Steel. We've had Meteor Man. We have Blank Man. We've had uh, films like the first Punisher. We had like the original Captain America, Fantastic Four. We had Blade. We've had. Uh, the original Supergirl, Superman, like all the other Batman films. We have like all these other movies, even like movies that don't even tie to like like MCU, that ties to uh, DCEU, uh, like the, the original Thomas Jane, 
Punisher film, uh, Ray Stevenson's Punisher film, the Ghost Rider, the X Men. Like I can keep on going on and on about all these other superhero films. Like even like the original Spider Man that we had, like the first trilogy by Sam Raimi. I can keep on going on and on about all of those. None of those films are exactly like another like comic book film. None of them. None of them like even resemble each other. None of them look like each other. But I feel like uh, much like how I don't like capitalism, that's what MCU did to these characters. And like I was a stark, a stark Marvel Reaver. Like, like all comic book fans, you take a break from Marvel, go hang out with DC for a bit, take a break from DC, go hang out with Marvel for a bit, read their comments back and forth, you catch up on certain things, like something else comes out, like Rebirth. Oh, shit, what's Rebirth? Uh, I'll take a break from Marvel, go read Rebirth. Oh, what's, uh, what's Noel? Like, who, who's, like, who's like, this Venom guy who created all the Venoms? Like, I'll take a break from DC, go read that, see what's going on over there. Like, that's what you do with uh, DC and Marvel. You, you take breaks. You don't read them both at the same time all the way, because, like, that can be overbearing, like, you get, like, burnt out. But I feel like with, with this... They have burnt us out with these heroes. Like I, I don't give, a, I don't give a rass ass about Tony. I don't give a rass ass about like Thor. I don't give a rass ass about Peter anymore. Like I don't even recognize Peter anymore. Like I have no idea who this Peter is. Like I, I don't. Like I, like he's unrecognizable to me. Uh, Black Widow, she is timid. She is. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't give a rass ass. Carol, I used to dislike Carol because Carol is like a secret conservative who doesn't like calling herself a conservative. Like what, what some conservative call like a rhino. That's what, that's what Carol is. The same for Rhodey. I don't like Rhodey either. He's the same way. He's like, he's a conservative who like who may like a liberal, but not really because like you know he lives in California, but he's not really like Rudy Rudy is an ass like, like I don't really like Rudy but like now I don't like any of these characters because like they're all monotone they're all the same note they're like they're like beige all these characters are the color beige and like they they act exactly like they have no teamwork they're all kind of stupid if I'm being completely honest and, and James Gunn showed us that with his Guardians of the Galaxy movie like all like all these characters definitely have mental illnesses like who are not being treated with their mental illnesses and like they're nothing like the comic book counterparts Gramora doesn't even know who she is and like in the comic book she's one of the most fiercest most badass warrior in the cosmos and like they nerf the living hell out of her drax was a man on a mission to only destroy thanos and only destroy thanos and they ruined that character completely rocket raccoon was a wacky son of a bitch who had like the intelligence of not only like dr strange but mr fantastic at the same time and like i don't even know who he is anymore i have no idea who rocket raccoon is like uh dr strange if you watch that movie oh my fuck <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> God, so, yo man like i i do not like that movie whatsoever been to come back to one of the best actors out right now and like i don't know what they did like with his acting in that character but that is not dr strange i don't know who that character is supposed to be in this multiverse of madness movie him and wanda looking all sad at each other <gasps> like you do something and it's a great thing i do something and it's bad that's not for like wanda stop like if anything like they she did right, they got Wanda the correct. Town. Was that? She enslaved the whole town. I hate her fans too. <laughs> God, it's like, oh, I feel sorry for Wanda. Wanda, Wanda oh. is one of the worst characters in like any Marvel in any, any Marvel universe. Marvel, Wanda does not care about anyone's life. Marvel does not Wanda does not care about anyone's consequences. She is selfish. She is like uh she is entitled and like it doesn't make any sense because she grew up in poverty. It's like, it's like why she like this is beyond me. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense why she's like this. she should have the most empathy out of anybody but yeah, yeah i do not i do not like like wanda but like wanda wanda is the exception in this because like well, no matter what they did like they made Mar wanda exactly like wanda is in every iteration of marvel universe so like good job on that one <laughs> sure well I, I went on a whole i went on a whole tirade i i do not like the mcu like i haven't seen i haven't seen jung chi i haven't seen captain marvel I only, I only watched her in Endgame. And like, you've already heard my Endgame review. I do not Don't movie. Don't watch Captain Marvel. I've taken my glasses off three times throughout this whole fucking like, episode. The Captain Marvel is like the epitome of, uh, me and my friends say, just another Marvel movie. Like, <sighs> Captain Marvel is literally that. It's, for me, the reason why I asked you that, and my reason why I think that, oh, like, please. you're ruining... I'm going I'm I'm to mute my shit. I'm going to let you go. Just keep on going. I want to hear all of it. So, the real reason is people think that superhero movie, that is the standard for a superhero movie. No. Fuck no. No, that's not the standard. When you want to make, like, a popcorn superhero movie, yeah. Something that you're just going to go see, something that's entertaining, you know, get you through it in two hours. Yeah. That's what we're going to go see. That's cool. That's cool and everything. 
but y'all done made about 13, 15, 20 something movies like this. Like, like, and it's, I just can't, like, and then people think that, and then they've done such a form, like with the jokes and everything, that some of the people, especially for this new Batman movie, it, it really makes me mad, especially when it's Batman and characters that it doesn't fit with. It's like there were no jokes, there was no humor. Like, bro, there was humor in the Batman, but it wasn't just your stupid ass outright jokes. There was just your real life humor. Like, there was some like some good humor in that. Like, but y'all looking for these little jokes after everything that happens, and that be cutting from the ten- intensity in the movie. Like, and then they don't even do it right. Like, it's like so. I compare it to like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. The you know Lord of the Rings did a great job for me. I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. They did a great job of adding in humor within the action, but you still felt like they was already die in the next scene. Like there was still humor, there was good action that like you had your lightheartedness, but there was still that intensity. And then like with Marvel movies, there's no like no intensity, there's no nothing. Everything has to be spoon fed to you because you're because you because it's movies for kids like it's no thought provoking like i know mcu fans probably did not like this new batman because you had to think a little bit to get through that joke so like i know they was mad there were no jokes so like there were there were jokes but not that type of jokes so i know they could not sit through this movie they probably left halfway through but it's it just dipped out yeah they was on their phones angry but like that's my thing that's why i say it ruined it like i'm fine with that type of superhero movie yes we do need those some heroes their stories actually good with the popcorn style of shit like that would work like if you made a booster gold movie like this i would not be mad but you can't do that with everybody you and then the fact is your formula was real good for the first phase right first phase i think iron man did good people hate on the incredible hulk but that was probably one of the hardest films in ncu and gave us the actual hulk that we needed like instead of that punk ass hulk put time to go to bed time to go to sleep hulk that we got (laughs) we're not gonna talk about that (laughs) he's a fucking joke I'm sorry to cut you off. He was a fucking joke. <laughs> no, but he is. He turned one of the most powerful, badass, fearsome characters into a joke. A big joke. A big green joke. Like, I just can't take it. I put bro, like, it's like, it's like you don't want to hate on this stuff so much because, yes, we're getting these characters live action. Yes, we are. That is great to see. But y'all gave us 13 movies of the same character rewritten to different characters. And it's just, it's just not it, bro. Like, like we read these stories all the time. We don't want the same shit. There's a reason why there's different writers on different, different runs. You feel me? There's like 80 million different Batman writers. There's a reason why. (laughs) (laughs) We want something different. We want something new. Whew. but that's why that's what i think the fans really is what make it like and critics too because it's like you i'll be reading reviews and like it's i'm like yo this wasn't a movie for yeah this wasn't a movie for you to go to with your family this wasn't a movie for you to go to like i seen one guy be was like I, I feel weird telling my son that my four-year-old son there's a Batman movie out that he can't go see. And I'm like, number one, if your little four-year-old can't handle that Batman movie, fuck him. He shouldn't be going anyway. <laughs> and like, at four-year-olds, I was watching Freddy movies. So, I mean, what are you talking about? Look, like, just tell your fucking kid no. What the fuck? <laughs> and it's PG-13. Yeah, tell that little nigga no. Just it's tell him no. You can't watch this movie. It's not for you, kid. Gee. Right. right. It's P. It's he four. What the should he even be in the movie theater? What the fuck? Like that's what I'm saying. It just I think that the, those movies came out for so long and it impacted a generation, which it did. Which I give them that. It they they touched the generation, but the way they touch the generation now, they're wanting to every superhero movie to be like that, and it's like, bruh. it's not. Like I think that's one of the reasons why, like you know, the DCEU came into a lot of problems because. Their movies weren't like that. Like Man of Steel, I, bruh, 
I love Man of Steel, and I hate that they say like it's not like warm hearted and like even like even though it is like it has like it has a couple jokes, but there's still warm hearted parts. But like this is let's think about Superman right now. Let's think and let's also think about the world we live in. Superman is an immigrant from another planet. Mm -hmm. Like bro, like his his story starting now is not going to be rainbows and roses, bro. Think about how they treat immigrants from another border. Like, like his whole thing was like with his father hiding him the entire time. Like you know, like we can't tell anyone about you. If you tell anyone about you, like we don't know what's gonna happen to you. Like you gotta, you gotta keep what you do secret. I will die to keep your secret. And like he did. Like he stayed in the tornado. And, he killed himself. And that was real. But that's yeah. that's the thing that that messes me up about Marvel films. Like it's like, okay, I'm cool with it being set in like this comic book universe. But like, and it doesn't have to fully be real. But mm -hmm. at least add a little tension, a little. A, a little something death, had me feel like something. Death. Yeah, yeah. Like there was no there was no death to it. Like I, I said this before, like and I'm gonna say it over and over again. The Winter Soldier and the Black Panther movie are the exact same film. Like I don't care, I don't care how angry you, like everyone out there gets me, I don't care how how pissed off like black Twitter and the black community gets off of me. Black Panther and Captain America Winter Soldier are the same movie. Like the exact same. It's a movie about like uh, the the hero being on top of the world, doing everything he has to do, like to do a mission. Uh, that mission is done. Then he finds out some secret person that he didn't know about is like out and about doing something. Then he has to find out who that secret person is, and like he he is uh, stopped by that secret person, and like his whole world turned upside down, possibly presumed dead. Then he has to, like to resurrect himself and come back and stop that person, and he does. But then he like you know the person is either gone or dead at the end of it, and like he finds himself and new friends along the way. It's a it's the exact same film for both of them. They are they are they are like verbatim. The very same film, just a different aesthetic to it. Right. But those are the ones with the most, those are the two probably with the most depth to them. But like, it's easy to have depth when you just copy like one film and just put like another character in front of it, like for the black community. It's easy to do that. No, that I actually never thought of it like that. Those are kind of legitimately the same move. But like, a like, lot of the even, even like, even like the, the adventure with, uh, with, with Shiri and his mom. And uh, like the adventure with like uh, Scarlet, Scarlet, like Scarlet, with uh, Black Widow going out like to find like all these different like items and articles, and like the like, Falcon shows up too. It's like it's the same shit. No, oh, you're right. But then also, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, also I seen this one thing that I didn't think about either. Like a while ago, it was like all of Marvel's movies, basically, like their start movies was the hero fighting the reverse version of himself. Like literally, like same powers and stuff. Like you know, like Ant Ant Man versus the one yo, uh, Captain America, Yellow Jacket, Soldier. Yeah, Yellow Jacket. Like it was literally, yeah. Uh, even in a Hulk movie, Hulk versus Abomination. Abomination. Literally, the other count. Like they're all kind of the same thing. Like I'm, I saw them. Like you're kind of right. That's all the same. Like it's literally a copy and paste. It's like. You can copy my homework, but don't make exactly like it. Change your name and a couple answers. Like, like it's literally like that. And I think that it, I like that they made this connected universe, but this connected universe to me was trash. Like, like the best part about it was the fact you made the Marvel, the Marvel Street level universe yeah. that you just now are saying is part of your universe. <laughs> now you're saying it. Now, now it's like it's a Disney Plus. Now it's a part of us. Now, now we're good. Agents yeah. of Chills still pending, but this one here most definitely is a part. Of the that also makes me mad, bro, because they put in the series like little tidbits that tell you that it's part of MCU, but they just now want to actually say that it's part of MCU. Like they wanted to hold it out there, like it may be, it may not be, just in case we want to use it. You feel me? We're not gonna hundred percent confirm or deny. Yeah, like that was so dumb. Like I'm like, what? Come on! Like this is the best part of y'all fucking universe, and y'all don't use it. Like, come on. That's why they wanted to acquire it because it is the best part of the universe. That's why Moon Knight's like is doing this thing. I feel like they think like uh, they're gonna put a parental advisory over all these episodes, but like, mind you, it's like when uh, their kids do watch it because there are some suggestive scenes inside of all these shows, like hardcore. They can't watch Jessica Jones. No, no, they no. can't. No, they can't. No. No, not at all. And if like if they if they're gonna use like the the Netflix uh Marvel as like their template to do Blade and to do Moon Knight, then like uh I'll shut up. I'll Me accept too. it. I'll shut I'll shut up about it. I'll accept it. All the way. 
I'll give I'll give her credit where credit is due. But if they just go back to their same cookie cutter ways, like you know, I want her to keep on talking crap about it because like that's that's all that's going to be to me. But to go back to what you were saying before, but like you know, the DC heroes have like the opposite versions of themselves. Like you know, you and I both know that that's essentially comics. But like they have they have other bad guys except like the like the the paper copy of themselves, man. They have, like they have other bad guys besides like just those guys over and over again. They do. But then I, they also their problem is MCU, like people also don't talk about this. MCU villains are really fucking trash. Like they suck. Like one of their top villains is low key and he's not even a villain. Not really. Like at all. Like the, bro, the, name a memorable villain besides Thanos. I mean, I guess like, I say Killmonger, but yeah. That well, well, of course, but he's black, so he don't count. We can't yeah, even use him. He's kind of dead, yeah. So yeah, supposedly. yeah. So yeah, so he really don't count. So Cro- crossbones, like uh, he's dead. Uh, Red Red Skull, yeah, he he's also dead. You. He crossbones bad. We got we saw crossbone in his suit for fifteen seconds, and that was it. Like think <sighs> of some really good ass villains, bro. Like Thanos was a great I villain. That made me angry. I'm sorry. I got a little, I got a little touchy, but like, yeah, we did. Yeah. Crossbones one of the most badass characters in the Marvel Universe. Like, and they, they disrespected the, the... They just glossed over him. Literally glossed I, over him. That's why I haven't watched a Black Widow film. Is because, like, I know Taskmaster is in it. And, like, a Taskmaster is, like, is hands down Master? one of my favorite characters. Don't. Don't, my dude, don't, never in your life, never in your, if Taskmaster is one of your favorite characters, I don't even want to do this to yourself. You will be on Suicide Watch if you watch this joke. Damn, that bad. No, bro, this, he, that, ta- that is probably one of the worst comic book adaptations I've ever seen of any character, period. Bro, there's no Taskmaster about this character. Like, literally, if you're asking for any Taskmaster, you're literally not getting anything besides the name. Because you and I both know Taskmaster man. doesn't shut the fuck up when he's fighting for one. Because like he's an arrogant fuckhead. Please don't watch this movie. Please never in your life watch Black Widow. Number one is trash anyway. <sighs> Number two, if you're if you are a Taskmaster fan, if you're like a gung ho Taskmaster fan, stick with your comic books. Dude, I read Agent X just because it had Taskmaster inside of it. Stick with your comic books. That's sad, bro. I'm telling you this. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, you okay, watch it, but just know that this is not Taskmaster. Don't go into it thinking you're gonna see Taskmaster. But his name is Taskmaster. <laughs> it's it's a different person. It's a different person. It's like it's like Reed and Red. They they the same thing, they spelt the same way, but they pronounce two different ways. It's not the same thing. This uh, is- I, I'm, I'm sure like you've been like hyperbolic about a suicide watch, but like still, man, like it, it's it's crazy, like the like like that it's that extreme. Like to like to go no. into it and like to to watch this and just think it's you like cannot, this. Yo, Halle Berry's version of Catwoman was a better adaptation of Catwoman than this than this is a Taskmaster. That's fucked up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry to get all serious on you like the damn that's, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's how bad <laughs> this is, bro. Like I've I've never seen a comic book adaptation. Worse than this, except for maybe Cassandra Kane and Birds of Prey. That that bothered me. That like they they did they did a good job with her. I'm not gonna deny that, but like that was not Cassandra Kane. That was not a good job. No. That was not a good job. She that could have literally been they did not have to name her Cassandra Kane. No, been a they random didn't. person. They didn't get yeah. did, and this is the same thing, bro. This was not Taskmaster, like this was literally just the same name. <sighs> Think about it. Actually, it's very those two are very perfect comparisons like cassandra kane and taskmaster both their lot of at live action adaptations are not anywhere they're not their combo characters they're that like hurts. bro like everything you love about taskmaster is taken out of this character and i like i'm not a huge Taskmaster. i like taskmaster i do like him but like i know if you are a gung-ho taskmaster fan this is not what you want to see Dude, he he disabled Iron Man before. Like he he is no joke, dude. Like people keep talking about how like Deadpool like is analog of like Deathstroke. No, motherfucker, that's that's Taskmaster. Taskmaster is analog of Deathstroke. Like that's a shame. Yeah. <sighs> that's a shame. Like it's it's one of the worst. 
like they really went and bro when i tell you they go left with it like you don't you don't you haven't heard about what they did with taskmaster mm-hmm. i'm not gonna be the one to tell you it's, <laughs> it's like not for me not doing it <laughs> yeah i'm gonna this is a shoot the messenger moment and i'm not gonna be the messenger <laughs> like bro like it's it's bad like it's like i'm all for doing like your own creative adaptation of comic books i'm all for that like I am too. new fresh this is nowhere near, nowhere near. Like Thor Ragnarok is probably a better adaptation of Thor than this is of Taskmaster. Like, 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 bro, like Joke and Thor. I take Joke and Thor over what we got for Taskmaster, yeah. and that's. And I hate, I hate Thor Ragnarok. I hate one of the worst. Not, you do not like that movie. Yeah, it's one of the worst combo movies I've ever seen in my life. And pro- it's followed right by Black Widow. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's change the tone just a little bit. Like I'm, I'm actually like I'm starting to feel feel bad. Like thinking about. So you want to talk about some good stuff? No, well, I'll talk about the upcoming stuff. Uh, recently we we've had like the Spider Man No Way Home movie. Uh, we've had we get we're gonna get Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness, which I'm Thor. actually kind of excited for. It looks like it's gonna be dope. I think Doctor Strange in this whole universe has kind of been kind of dumb, but I'm ready for this. Okay, Thor, Thor, Love and Thunder is coming out in July. Uh, Black, all right, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever comes out in November. <laughs> okay, so let me let's you talk just about stop it. talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. those, whole, those whole string of movies, I'm just like, nah. Like, like especially when you get the Thor, I'm like, nah, nah. You just, you just didn't say anything. You just said like, nothing at all. <laughs> After Thor Ragnarok, I'm done. Uh, in, in the Marvels. Game, Oh, Marvel's okay. I'm cool with that. We'll go with Wakanda, though. The Wakanda one. That's the one I'm worried about. Because I think you should just recast T'Challa. <clears throat> just recast him. And then also, I'm hearing about a lot of white characters in this show. <laughs> I know. Let me know that a lot lately. If you watch like TV shows, like I watch TV shows, they're, they're slowly migrating like white characters back into TV shows now. Right. Yeah. I'm already mad you had the one white character in the Black Panther movie. Well, when like we that, that was kind of his whole thing, though. You talking about Claw? You talking about the like the, the agent, the Shield guy? I'm talking about the Shield guy. Claw uh, had a reason to be in there. Yeah, he's Claw. Yeah, he's he Claw. Has to be in there. Like his whole thing, like like for him, like to be white, and he like he's a colonizer. That's his whole thing. Yeah, right. The 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 agent. I didn't need his white ass in the movie. Didn't really need him. No, we didn't need him. We did not need him. And I keep seeing there's a whole bunch of white characters with Con to show. I'm like, okay, this is what Con to show. I'm not expecting to see nobody white. Nobody. Uh, oh, besides the Marvels, we got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Definitely, def- I didn't like the first two. Uh, so I didn't even watch the second one. So yeah, you don't uh, need to stupid. I don't think so. I don't think I knew. Like I watched the first one. Like these characters are, are inept. Like all these characters, they they are incompetent. All of they're them. Dumb. Every last single one. Of yeah. Them. Bro, they're, they're... why did why did a critic? This is why I hate critics. The critic wrote. This is exactly what a critic wrote. They wrote, I didn't understand the plot or the dialogue, but I extremely liked that movie. And I'm like, do you even know what you watched? Just, you know what you just said? That's a real right. fucking question. You didn't understand nothing of the movie, but you liked it? The so fuck. what do you like? <laughs> I'm big into politics. Like, uh, politics is like one of my nerd things. And uh, I, I listened to this episode of the podcast called The Daily by the New York Times. And they were talking about this one Republican uh, they keep calling him a rhino. Kept calling him a rhino, like different different politicians at this uh, this big Republican convention. Kept calling this one other Republican a rhino, Republican in name only. And uh, the reporters talked to people who went to that convention, like that, the citizens who went there. And it's like, so why don't you like this uh, this candidate, like who's uh, who's running inside your district? It's like, oh, because he's a rhino. Tons of them said because he's a rhino. Like, uh, what? And can you be more specific about like what makes him a rhino? None of them can give an answer as to why he's a rhino. Not one. And like this, that is the same thing I see from a lot of MCU fans. Is that right there? Like, uh, I don't know why I like this movie. But like this movie, I don't know why. But I liked it. It was nothing really good about it, but I liked it. <laughs> it's stupid, man. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, what? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, did you watch the movie? <laughs> Uh, next up is Ant Man and Wasp, uh, Quantitain- Quantumania. And the only reason why I'm like even mildly excited for this is because like my dude, uh, Major is gonna be in it. That's the only, it's only, yeah. only reason why I even care about this movie. But Jonathan Major is gonna be inside of it, so. yes, exactly. So, I mean, that's like, it. And I actually like the, I like the first Ant Man, and the first one was good, kind of was whatever. 
And then, yeah, and yeah. And after that, they got uh, the Fantastic Four to be announced for a date. It's in development. Uh, Blade is in pre-production. An untitled Deadpool film is in development. Uh, untitled Captain America sequel is in development. And yep, with, with uh, Falcon. Mm-hmm. I want to see how they do with that. An untitled uh, Chung chi and uh, Legends of the Ting Ring is in, in production. And lastly, they have an untitled Mutant Central mutant centered film in production and this is all according to happens. wikipedia yeah we'll see if that what happens i don't They're know not- i mean i feel like they <clears throat> just not i don't know it's just nothing in this next phase is too exciting for me it's just i think fans are feeling that too to be honest with you. like as 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 dumb as we just assumed MCU fans are, like uh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's that's what they're picking up on too. Like there's, there's not really much exciting stuff for this multiverse of madness. And, like they want that to jumpstart all of this because they know it's going to just be like random versions of like the characters that they already love. Which which <clears throat> which DC characters have been telling them was going to be the case years ago because they started that shit with a Joker in DC. Like we've been saying this, like like th- this is what Marvel's gonna do. It's gonna throw different variations of the characters into these movies because we all know that that Downey Jr. is leaving, Evans is leaving, like all the other like guys and gals are leaving the MCU. They're just gonna give you different versions of these characters. We've been saying this shit for years. And, like they're just not picking up on them because the movie's selling them so. Yeah, but the, my problem with that also, bro, is like that's not exciting to, like it's dope like you're like okay i love I, like i said i like spider-man 3 and of course you know they brought back the different spider-mans i like that y'all doing this bringing back the old marvel but it's like this is all like it seems that y'all are using to go forward like it seems like y'all put all y'all money into the thanos bag and mm-hmm. like building to that that like now this next phase it just doesn't seem interesting like we'll see what y'all go with it like i think the shang chi movie at the end of it where they said like the ting rings was connected to something different that may be the more bigger world thing but like i don't know it's just really for me right now it's kind of like the movies are kind of like their comics i just really don't know where this shit is headed like it's just kind of shit just okay I haven't been reading the Marvel comic books, but I feel that way too. Like when I see like a solicit, when I see a little solicitation of like all these comics, like I don't know what's happening inside this universe. Like I don't know what like the linear path is with these stories because like it all seems like it's all over the place and the yeah. characters aren't talking to each other anymore. Like none of the characters seem to be cool with each other at all anymore. Am yeah, I wrong? Like they, so you do have appearances like right now, like in the whole, in the whole like, the the street level universe that's okay. coming together because that all came together kind of to this story of kingpin being mayor and outlaw outlaw and mask in new york and everything okay it kind of led all to that but like as a universe as a whole like i don't know what this shit is going like i don't know what like because you know how like dc has like there's certain things that's coming up like you know mm-hmm. we got um what's the big thing leading the, the death of the justice league which is right. all the comics kind of really flow into that you feel me in a certain way but this like i don't know in the comics i don't know where they're going in these movies i don't know where they're going and i'm just not excited about the new the new frame of what is going like i think the only thing that kind of captivates me right now is falcon becoming captain america wakanda doesn't excite me because y'all not bringing t'challa back that's dumb as shit there's no way that we should get one i love chadwick boseman rest in peace to a real one but we have had 80 different motherfuckers be batman we got batman with nipples on the suit and you mean to tell me i can't get a second person to be t'challa like no no there's no way you're gonna give me one goddamn black panther movie i done got I Spider Man has a two trilogies and two movies in another series, and you mean to tell me that y'all just one movie, yeah? And they put all in (laughs) one movie, and then you mean to tell me that you just can't recast a child? Like, come on, y'all recasted War Machine, like, and that was cool. Yeah, Don Cheadle, nobody said nothing. Like, like that. No, I this this sounds hella racist to me. I don't know if it is or not, but it sounds hella racist that we can't get another Black Panther movie. Like, there's no like, 
that's dumb. That's just, I'm really mad about that. Like, they, recast my mans. Like, give me more T'Challa. How do we get one T'Challa movie? He wasn't even king the whole damn movie. And then we can't get a movie with him as king? I see. <laughs> this is see. I can't, I can't think too much. Like, I think I've already said enough about all of this. <clears throat> okay, so I'm, I'm looking at the solicitation. No problems. Yeah, I, I, I hear you. I, like, I, I hear you completely. Solicitation is, uh, this is from March. Uh, if you if you look past all, and I mean all of the X Men, like Immortal X Men, Marauders, X, uh, Wolverine Patch, X X Men got a whole bunch of shit. Okay, I think I'm not reading X Men, but they know what they doing with that. That that's all connected. Mm-hmm. I'm see, not reading it, but that's the X Men universe is with it. I see Venom. Oh, X Men. Okay. okay, they leading up to something real stupid. They leading up to. <laughs> Uh, I think <laughs> it, it leading up to Eternals versus X Men with the Avengers in the middle, or it's a long, it's Eternals versus somebody, and the other one is in the middle. Oh, and I'm joking. just like, are you fucking serious? They're gonna get owned by the Eternals. Like the Eternals are like are beyond godly. This is what I mean. Like, come on, bro. Like, bro. Like y'all keep doing these verses. Like I didn't even like Avengers. <clears throat> x-men i didn't so, even like that there's a reason why like they, they kept cosmic stuff cosmic and like the x-men only went in the space like once every 15 years like you don't you don't put the x-men in the space all the fucking time because it's like they they don't mesh well it's like anime and comics like you don't you don't blend those two things together that's what i'm saying like that like like come on bro like, devil's rain that's the that's the new thing that's going on that so yeah that's the, that's the one with the with the kingpin like that's mm-hmm. the street level it's like that's Dylan, the Dylan's level. for hire was this uh superior four uh the the devil's main event what's this next one called uh moon devil's Knight's main moon Knight. Knight. devil's rain x-men uh Del- uh daredevil one out of fear still going you know, still going yeah and all that that extends a lot of those with the street levels like the the devil's reign all extended from daredevil's comic okay. and then went into and then, and then it brought in uh, and then also you know what we was talking about mcu but then here goes some more racist sounding shit from marvel comics and that made me mad oh well you know ike pillmutter is like the, the editor-in-chief of that so like that that doesn't surprise me. that's why i started reading the comic books as soon as trump became president and ike pillmutter was his best friend working at, at marvel was like well i'm done with you guys in 2016 but go on please yeah because luke cage as you know devil's reign devil's mm-hmm. reign and i don't know if you're reading it but in devil's reign uh kingpin is married he's outlawing mass now everybody's trying to get behind luke cage so luke cage become mayor because luke cage they said luke cage you you know the people you like the people's champ and you're one you're one of the few heroes that doesn't have a secret identity you just are who you are so like he's like they're trying to get luke cage to be mayor Right, that's the main part of this comic. Now, Luke Cage was supposed to have a solo series that basically extended from this and was part of this, right? right. And it was basically his stuff that would be his solo series, but it started with this Devil Rain, and that got canceled. Now, that makes me mad because every person in this joint seemed to have a tie-in, except for fucking Luke Cage, who is the main person in the comic. Like Moon Knight has a tie-in. I love Moon Knight. His comic is dope. Why the fuck do I need a Moon Knight tie-in? He's not even one of the main characters in the comic is it like like, like shang chi and black panther doesn't either like that's what i'm saying like luke cage his solo series was supposed to be connected to this main comic that y'all have out right now you're this main crossover event and then y'all cancel luke cage's comic but everybody else still get tie-ins like and that brother, don't sound brother, right to me brother voodoo is a part of strange academy they brought him back oh yeah i think that um i think that's in like Doctor Strange shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hear you though. I hear what you're saying. Like, like it seems I don't I've never seen any black folks a part of this uh, Dark Rain thing. Yeah, I'm just, it's, uh, it's calling, calling what it is. Like I don't. I mean, there's I not. See, I see the woman in Marvel. I see that. Is that there's is that not important? too many black people in Marvel comics anyway. They have their own comic. Anyway. DC does. Just let yeah. you guys know. DC does. Yeah, yeah Mar- yo, uh, Marvel's Marvel is really they really get a pass for a lot. I don't understand it. Like they well, like look at the editor in chief now. Like what's that guy's name? Like the the weird dude who talked about like how it's okay to appropriate Chinese stuff. I forget his name, but uh, after Axel Alonso left, like you know, 
that's when all this started to happen. No, I don't know nothing about that, but sounds crazy to me. CB Sabluski. That's the uh, that's the editor in chief. Like he said, like some weird stuff about like uh, some weird Japanese appropriating crap a while back. He's, uh, he pretended to be Japanese. That's what it was. Yeah, he pretended to be Japanese. Then he apologized for, for, for pretending to be Japanese. Yeah. Well, he's white. Uh, he's white. Oh yeah, he's he's as white as white as snow. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah. really like messing with with Marvel. Marvel is sus in my eyes. Like the comic book company, like the, the film company. Kevin Feige is one of those guys who uh, pretends to be culturally appropriate, like appropriate, but you know, I think he just in it for money. Whatever. And like, I hate when people say like, I swear by Kevin Feige, that's suspect. Like, I don't swear by any one creator. That's a weird thing to say about anybody. Like, you know what? Kevin Feige can do no wrong. Like, mm, well, about that. <laughs> but all right. <laughs> no, I would never say that about any person. Like, no matter how much I think they're incredible. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I have some of my favorite directors, but even some of them have made movies that I don't like. You feel mm-hmm. me? I can do no wrong. It's Spike Lee weird... has movies I don't like, but... It's a weird thing to say, right? Yeah. Yeah, and especially since I definitely don't agree with that. <laughs> he definitely has done a lot of wrong. <laughs> agreed. Uh, agreed. But I think that I think that's the end of our MCU rant. I think that's all we got. <laughs> I think we like we touched on a lot of different topics. We went through like the new films that are coming out. We uh, talked about some of the older films that we don't like. I gotta watch Captain Marvel just to just to see why everyone else like it. It has Sam Jackson, so play it can be hundred percent bad. That's one of the reasons it. I don't like the movie. Damn. You'll if you watch the movie, you'll see you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, like, I think I know what you're like this is a spoiler, but uh, it's like the fact that Jackson was like captured by the scroll and like there's been like an imitating imitation sam jackson on earth the entire time right that's also stupid but no, <laughs> but no that's not it it's worse than that is it the cat that cut up his eye is that what you're talking about okay <laughs> is it like an alien cat though is it got like an alien yes it is <laughs> but it's still a goddamn cat when you see the move you remember in winter soldier in the cool scene he was like he was like, I don't never trust nobody because that's how I got this eye, right? Remember that in Winter yeah. Soldier? He got a cool last cat. line. It was a hard, and it turned out to be a goddamn cat. Yes, it was an alien cat, but at the end of the day, it still was a cat. It was used as a joke. And I'm like, bruh, Nick Fury is one of the most badass mm-hmm. characters in Marvel, literally. Which we saw in Winter Soldier, yeah. Which we saw in Winter Soldier. And then now... You making him dumb for jokes. Like, it's it's the Hulk and Thor. Like, it's literally like, bro, fuck these jokes. Like, we don't, like, have these people <laughs> be bad ass. Yeah, it's like, you should yo, make a shirt with a Marvel. Fuck these jokes. Fuck these jokes. Like, yo, like, bro, like, the movie was already bad. Like, Captain Marvel already sucks. Like, her character sucks in general. But, like... Like, yo, like, why did you have to bring Nick Fury? It's like Thor Ragnarok. You could have left Hulk out of all that dumb shit. Leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Like, you, I think <coughs> Nick, it is Samuel Jackson is Nick Fury. Like, and you just made him lose his eye to a fucking cat. Have we seen him since? Have we seen, like, uh, Fury since uh, Captain Marvel? Not the real Fury. He's a, ever, ever since, so I think since, Got tomorrow with an in game came out in Far From Home. Was he in Far From Home? Yes. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Far from home. Which one's Far From Home? Far that's, from home. That's a sequel. Oh, yeah. He's in the poster. Yeah. He's in no, wait, yes, he is, but that's not him. Oh. That's a that's a scroll. That's a scroll. Which they were also a dumb part of the whole Captain Marvel movie. They end up literally becoming a joke at the end of the movie. <laughs> you out so this. I think like this is a bummer episode. <laughs> I, think this whole, uh-huh. I, think, I think we should know this whole episode is one big bummer. <laughs> yeah, yo, I'm sorry, but like Captain Marvel is horrible. Like it's dumb. Like it's so. It stupid. didn't look appealing. It didn't look appealing to me whatsoever. Like, like it's like, a cool scene where she goes super saiyan and she start blowing everything up. Like that's cool and everything. But then like you know you 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 know how like you know how this is the thing that sucked about it. You know how Superman 
when he has his first flight, he kind of like falls into a mountain, mm-hmm. right? Spider Man, when even the Tobey Maguire, he was out there like trying to figure out like go web, go web, and then he even up when he first did it, he ended up running into walls and shit, and he didn't know how to do it, right? There's not shit for that with Captain Marvel. When she flies, but, she flies. Like but she's an OP round to jump then, huh? She just like once she get a power, she just got powers. Like there's literally no like that's going a, through training power. She just gets them bitches. Like the movie literally is. Would you call her a Mary Sue in this movie? What's a Mary Sue exactly? A uh, character who pretty much cannot be defeated. So that yeah, you know, okay. That also makes me mad about the MCU. They have made her a Mary Sue, but they have norfed everybody else. Like, bruh, there's no way you're not going to tell me that Captain Marvel is more powerful than Thor and Hulk. You're not going to tell me that. You're not going to tell me that. How? I mean, Planet Hulk kind of told us otherwise. So, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <I'm> just saying. <laughs> well, whatever, I guess. <laughs> like, like, you're not going to tell me this. Like, like, bruh, y'all sent Hulk to another planet. That was, y'all, about that. <laughs> that was how you stopped him. And then you going to tell me that Captain Marvel is more powerful than the man that you had to send to another planet? He, he pummeled He pummeled the void. I'm not even calling him a sentry. He pummeled the void. He, he, he punished he, Yeah. Mm-hmm. He sure did. He made that dude like regret ever ever put on that costume. He sure did. Yeah. He beat him like Thanos beat him in the movie. And on that note, God. <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. No, I can't because, like, he they <laughs> I wanted to turn off that movie as soon as that happened. I'm not even gonna lie to you. As soon as, soon as I that did, happened, I didn't because I thought that Hulk was gonna get angry and come back later because no, that's no. a very Hulk type thing to do, right? I mean, in any comic I've read, read yeah. any comic I've read where Hulk gets beat up, he comes back. Tenfold. Superman does the same thing. Yeah, that's like that's right? a, a very right? Superman Hulk thing to do. Agreed. I mean, I ain't never seen Hulk run for no fight. Never. Not once. Uh, no, no, actually, yes, I've seen it once. I've seen it once. <laughs> he, he like literally told between his legs. That's mm, that's as, that's as bad as having like Wonder Woman cry after like her family had died after like a, a villain killed her entire like Amazon family and just having her cry after that happened. Like that is not Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> Wonder Woman's not gonna cry because her family just got exploded in front of her. She's gonna get pissed off. She's gonna kill the person who fucking did it. Like, and it made me cry afterwards. I mean, it made me cry afterwards exactly, but not huh. like immediately after it happened. That's not Wonder Woman. I don't know what you guys are doing, but that is not Wonder Woman. No. This nigga Hulk ended up getting his ass beat shameful to the point where he let banner take over his body <laughs> okay i'm i'm okay the, the purest in me just wanted to come out and get upset about this but i'm gonna yeah, no i'm upset i'm always <laughs> upset i am highly upset i'm still upset i yo i thought we was gonna get thanos versus hulk a nice battle Hulk got punished and then literally was like, no, I'm not coming out forever. I'm on timeout. I'm putting myself on timeout. That that should have been the straw that broke the camel's back right there for all fans. That should have been it. Who was the person in the writing room that said cool to that? Hey, Jim, check this out. <laughs> you like, made the Hulk run after Donald's beat him up? Yeah, isn't that, isn't that interesting? <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? The whole yeah. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. They're, they're gonna love it, Jim. They're gonna ask me. Gonna love, love it. it. They're gonna love it. God. Bro, that's that, huh? like that's the thing that gets me. Who was in the writing room? Who there is there cannot be a comic book, there cannot be a Hulk fan in that in that room that's like, yeah. That's a good idea. This is the Hulk that we're going to put out after we turned him into a little baby that gets put to sleep. Do that. Like, write, write that down and put that in the, in the thing. Like, yeah, do that. Make it all CG, too. Like, but yeah, do that. Make that make that happen. Fans, I love that shit. I mean, the same person that decided Black Widow is going to be like, hey, hey, big fella, it's time to come down. It's probably the same person that decided that Hulk was going to run in Infinity Wars. You got me looking. You got me like looking and looking. Okay. You know, like, who decided that? Like, who <laughs> was, was the person? Was, he, he wrote. He wrote. He wrote the. He wrote and or directed the Ragnarok film. No, he wrote. So he wrote the Ragnarok. Eric Pearson did the Black Widow. So the same person who did uh who did Ragnarok, 
the, the, the screenwriting for Black Widow. That's why both of them joints suck. What? Are you serious? That's why both of them joints are nothing like comics. That person probably did not read a comic. If he did, he would just like, fuck it. Like, I don't like it. I'm going to change it myself. They're, yo, they're, oh my. He also wrote the Godzilla and King Kong film too. Okay, he gets redeemed a little bit for that. <laughs> he gets to, he, he can't do all bad. You know what I mean? He can't do all bad. He gets redeemed. For you're, you're anything if not honest. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is this has been a blast. Uh we really brought ourselves down with this episode. We, we may not do no one like this for years. So right. there's gonna be a whole fan base that's literally gonna hate on everything we just said. I'll make a big ass banner for this too. MCU trash talk. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, yo! They got a title like the, the MCU trash talk with uh with your nerd D. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. People are gonna love it. Gonna, they're gonna make, they're gonna be mad. They're gonna be they're gonna be more mad at us than they should be at the movies. But they, mm, mm, is that how it goes? Like, it uh, is. But what what do Hubert Freeman always say? Like uh like God stop telling people the truth because they just keep on getting angry and throwing shit at you. So yeah. Right, right. There it is. Boondocks right. are always bringing it back. All right, guys. This is D F T Nerd Talk. <laughs> I'm Malcolm with your nerd. Well, Justice with your no nerd. Ooh, 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 he just said the name. Oh my I goodness. gave him a whole government name. It's all <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. You guys take it easy. <laughs>